In Remembrance Day, we just want to have a reflect on those people who have died in the war, those people who have given their life, those people who have uh, ha allowed this country to be great, Great Britannia, you know. We want to give reflect and give respect and also we just want to let it know this is not just a white issue. This is not a British issue. This is a world issue to maintain and preserve peace. The voice of the church is that we are continuing to extend our love across the borders, to continue to pray for our borders, to continue to pray for the preservation of law, the preservation of humanity, the up, to, 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 um, not to uproot evil, but to let evil be downtrodden and to be decimate and totally eradicate. We are asking our parents to take some time out in educating their children the importance of those people who have died in order for us to have a peaceful Britain. We are asking our churches to continue to do goodwill to all men. We are asking the nation to give not only a minute silent, but to just be your brother's keeper, to help in trying to preserve what we call the great race of humanity. It is a global issue, international issue, and that everybody's matter. Today, this very day, we are asking you to stand up tall, let your voice be heard, be an example. Let your purpose shine like the sun. Uphold goodness, standard, morality, and good ethics. I say to you, don't let those that die, die in vain. Don't let your purpose be buried. But let victory and truth with the help of God, stand forever. God bless you.